Today's interesting topic is how to use the pulse oximeter. So let's see this topic. Welcome to Logic Medico, where we are understanding the concepts in medicine. So today's interesting topic is a step by step guide for how to use the pulse oximeter, how to read it and how to document it in an appropriate manner. Especially for those who are at home and just don't know how, not, how to use it in the right manner. The first step includes warming our hand. If at all it's cold, we have to rub our hand and we have to warm our hand. If at all you have to put some nail polish, we have to remove the nail polish because it will interfere in the interpretation or reading. Okay, the instrument will not be able to pick up the reading well. The step number two is rest for at least five minutes. This one you have to do. Before taking any measurement, we have to rest our hand in a stable manner because the blood circulation stabilizes when we rest our hand. Okay. Step number three is very important keeping the hand at the level of the heart. We have to place our hand on the chest at the level of the heart and hold it still. Don't do repeated movement, hold it still. This, this point also is equally important. Step number 4 is switching on the oximeter and place it over the middle finger or the index finger. See these two fingers are important. Okay, It is shown that this is more in line with the blood vessels. So whatever saturation we get in these two fingers, the middle finger and the index finger is more higher when compared to the other fingers which are in the terminal position. Okay, So kindly use only these two fingers, the middle finger or the index finger to take the reading. So switch on the oximeter and place it over this. It's like a clip. You can open it and place your finger over that. Initially the reading won't display like this. It will take some time. You have to have some patience. You have to wait. It will take time to record. Okay. That is a step number four. The reading takes time to appear. So you have to have some patience. Wait at least for a minute or so. Okay until the reading becomes stable. See initially what happens, the reading shows 83, it will become 85, it will become 89, so it's wavering around. So to wait at least for a minute or so, so that the reading becomes stabilized, so that it doesn't change much, okay. That is the most important step, you have to wait, you have to have patience for at least 5 minutes. So A minute or so, but 5 minutes is more appropriate. Record the highest result obtained in that time, whatever value you got, whatever is the highest score you got result, that is a, your recording. Once the reading has not changed for 5 seconds, I told you already, it will be wavering around. So in 5 seconds, if the same reading is persistent, in this case 98, the saturation SpO2, partial pressure of oxygen, saturation of oxygen, sorry, saturation of oxygen is 98, it's showing, pulse rate is 62, it's showing. So for 5 seconds, if it is showing the same values, then this is the recording of your pulse oxygen. This is your pulse and this is your oxygen level. Okay. Identifying the reading carefully. Just now I told you, 5 seconds, it should be stable. Then this is the pulse rate, which is mentioned as PR, which measures your heart rate. And this is your saturation of oxygen, okay, which is showing as 98% of saturation. So the reading, the enlarged view of the same, the pulse oximeter, how to see the reading, this is the zoomed in view of this, SpO2 means saturation of oxygen, 97 it is shown, this is the pulse wave which is present over here, and this is the pulse rate which is mentioned as beats per minute, obviously you know this is the battery status, okay, so here the patient, heart rate is high, okay, saturation is good, but heart rate is showing high maybe they have not kept the hand still they are moving the hand repeatedly or they have not rested the hand for five minutes that's why the pulse rate is showing high because they are anxious what will be their value so you have to place your hand stable for at least five minutes then you have to take the readings start recording from the baseline and record three times a day at the same time, on day to day basis, those who are home quarantine or at home who want to monitor yourself, record three times in a day. 
at the same time, preferably at the same time. So, for example, today's date 27 4 21. So, to make this record in a book at 9 a.m., we will take one recording. This is just an example 1 p.m. at 7 p.m. Three recordings were taken morning, afternoon, and evening. So, you will record what was your saturation. You can create columns date wise, you will measure saturation and pulse rate. Your saturation was 98 at 9 a.m. 97 at 1 p.m. 99 at 7 p.m. So these are saturation values of the given date on the given time. So whoever takes that record and sees it will become easy for them to know your status previously. When you go to hospital, all of a sudden that should you should not. But if at all you go, what was your saturation in the last week or the last day? They will come. Here. This is the pulse rate which shows the side by side of it 78, 87, 79 at these times. Okay. Step number 9 is call 1075 in India. There is one toll free number. If you are seriously ill, you can call this 1075. Then you should call. When you feel seriously ill, you are unable to complete a short sentence because you are getting breathless while resting. Due to breathlessness, you are getting. You are not able to walk up to the washroom because you are getting breathless. And your oxygen level falls below the saturation level which we are telling until now to monitor. If it is falling below 92% or less, you have to call the helpline number 1075. So the reference for this video from where I have taken is from the My Government detail. It's written here also the link. And these are the steps of how to use the pulse oximeter. So to summarize, step number one is remove any nail polish or any false nail if you are kept on your existing nail, warm your hand if it is cold, that is step number one, rest for at least five minutes before taking any measurement, this I told you the most important step and rest your hand at the level of your heart for at least a minute, then switch on the oximeter and place on which fingers, index and middle finger, then wait, have patience, then you have to wait until the reading becomes steady. It will be wavering around, so the reading should become steady. Keep the oximeter stable at least for a minute or so until the reading becomes stabilized. Then record step number 6, record the highest result once. It is not changed for at least 5 seconds. At least for 5 seconds if the saturation is maintaining around 98, pulse around 78, that is the highest recording you got, so you document it. Identify each reading carefully, that is morning, afternoon, evening daily basis you have to do and start recording that from the baseline record three times a day at the same time preferably take extra measures if required if you feel that your health is altering you should, you should be able to take extra measures call 1075 if you have got the following symptoms if you feel seriously ill unable to complete the short sentence while resting or due to shortness of breath or breathlessness and if your saturation drops below 92%. Okay. Thank you for watching and learning from Logic and Nico. Like and share this video with your family and friends. It may help someone. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and all notifications. Thank you once again for learning from Logic and Nico.